Hello, good morning. I am discussing about the characterization of nanocellulose. Uh, the nanomaterial have been widely used to manipulate cell behavior due to their nano size, excellent physiochemical properties, ease of synthesis and versatility in uh, surface functionalization. <laughs> the extracellular matrix and secreted molecules are the main players that affect cell behavior, including differentiation of stem cells into major cells. In designing and fabricating the TCM networks, nanomaterials-based scaffolds and synthetic polymers are being widely used to stimulate the microenvironment of the TCM in vivo. Among them, cellulose is being used due to its wide availability, excellent biocompatibility, biodegradability, bioactivity, and regeneration promoting features. As a natural carbohydrate, cellulose is biocompatible and does not cause any allergic reaction in vivo. It is broken down into <coughs> shorter polysaccharides or sugar molecules and generally does not cause any toxicity unless inhaled into the lungs. The cellulose found in bacteria and plants can be restructured into nanofibers, that is nanocellulose, which is a widely used and natural polymeric materials for various applications, including the biomedical applications. Moreover, the networks of cellulose nanofibers have been synthesized for various biomaterials applications by crosslink or tempo oxidized cellulose nanofibers with other polymers, including polyacrylic acid. Among the various forms of nanocellulose, biocompatible cellulose nanocrystal or crystalline nanocellulose has been used as a novel and advanced nanomaterial in biomedical science. Cellulose of nanoscale 1 to 100 nanometer exhibit altered properties of the material such as morphology, size, and composition, which could impact the addition, biocompatibility, growth, and development of cells. The molecules that comprise the ECM in mammals have been reported to be of a nanometer scale. Example, the 66 nanometer repeat the binding of collagen fibers. Therefore, by mimicking the nanoscale topographic features of ECM during the biomaterial fabrication, crystalline nanocellulose could plausibly be adapted to induce the same effects as the ECM. Uh, this is the some characterization of nanocellulose. In the same analysis, uh, that is the cauliflower-like 
morphology and the uh, imaging performed the uh, tapping mode using the cantilever tip radius from AFM the uh, 10 nanometer automatic average roughness and root mean square average roughness were 6.16 and 8.96 nanometer. In the FTR analysis, 3400 per cm due to OS vibration and uh, 2870 per cm CS stretching. 1300 to 1400 per cm. It may be the glycosidic bone, CS2 working, and CS2 symmetric binding, and also on the another peak, 900 to 1110, it may be bitter glycosidic linkage of COC, glycosidic vibration. In case of one is anamar, the proton peak 1 to 5 ppm. And in case of the DT analysis, uh, 50 at 50 degrees Celsius, the initial loss of weight, 3 percentage. And also at the 75 degrees Celsius, that is the major loss of weight. And also second major loss at uh, 250 degrees Celsius and final weight loss at 8 degrees Celsius. Also in case of the one is NMR analysis, that is the another peak 4.6 ppm, which is the overlap due to the solvent. This is the more explanation of Characterization. This is my reference. Uh, thanks for watching.